Hi, it's Handy Andy Tech Tips here, and earlier this week there was some incredible news for all web developers worldwide. Yep, that's right, Microsoft will be ending support for Internet Explorer versions 8, 9 and 10 on the 12th of January this year. That means there will be no more security patches and no more technical support, so it will virtually force people to upgrade to something newer and better. Now, the main reason why this announcement is so cool is because IE8 is finally dead. It has just been the bane of a web developer's existence for years now, simply because it just doesn't support any of the features of the modern internet. And honestly, that's really not surprising, because it was released all the way back in March 2009, which is almost seven years ago now. But for some weird reason, people have just kept on using it. Back at the beginning of last year, in February 2015, NetMarketShare reported that it made up nearly 20% of all Internet Explorer usage. And here's the main reason why that was such an awful situation. As you can see, this is a table, it's from caniuse.com, and listed on the far left hand column are all the modern web technologies, so stuff from HTML5 and CSS3. And that IE8 column, see that one there, just look at how many features are missing. You don't have CSS3 media queries, CSS colours, multiple backgrounds, box shadow, 2D transforms, you don't even have support for HTML5 video, which is a standard format you used on YouTube. But here's the interesting thing. If you know somebody who uses one of these old browsers, you might be saying, well, YouTube works fine on it, and so does every single other site on the internet, so what's the problem? Well, the issue is that web developers put in countless hours to ensuring that their sites look the same across the board. Being the nice people that they are, they don't want to compromise your experience, even if you're using some old piece of crap. So they work day in, day out, developing these hacks and fixes just so that you can see newer sites on old browsers. So that's why the entire development community is going to be so happy with this new announcement. It will result in three less browsers to test on, and believe me, devs have really got their work cut out for them in that respect. Just think about it, they've got Chrome, Opera, Firefox, Safari, Mobile Safari, Mobile Chrome, Mobile Internet Explorer, and about five different versions of Desktop IE as well. If you have to test on all of those platforms before your site gets published to the internet, then you're really looking for a way to cut your workload. And I think that is what Microsoft has just given us. Anyway, I'm Handy Andy and thank you so much for watching this video. Please subscribe if you want more tech videos, and don't hesitate to leave a comment with your thoughts about Microsoft's decision to discontinue old IE.